Hey everybody, I'm Stacey J. And I'm Chuck Duran. Welcome to part two with Christine Aller. Let's get to it. What are three simple things that anybody can do out there to align themselves to actually have some success this year? Okay. One thing that people can do, you need to have at least a person, if not a group of people. It could be a person that you see every month, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm not necessarily talking about an accountability buddy. It could be like a mastermind group or a mastermind partnership. You need someone with whom you can share all of your victories. Mm. This is critical because what performers especially do is we wait. We wait till we have the victory, the booking, the appearance on something to share with everybody where it's safe and you'll know people will actually be like, oh yes, that is worthy. And that's great. Mm. But and victories are bold moves that you make with the potential of moving your career forward. Mm. They may not, but they're bold moves outside of your comfort zone that have the potential to move your career forward, which means if you sit there and sweat for 20 minutes before making that phone call, but you actually made the phone call, that's a victory and it needs to be celebrated. Absolutely. Because going from just society approved victory to society approved victory can sometimes be a long time. Yeah. And you're trying to keep yourself motivated and here's the thing, we all need support, accountability, and inspiration. And we are built to get those from sources outside of ourselves. Mm -hmm. We're not meant to self-generate. And I can immediately tell when someone comes to me and they're burnt out, it's because mm -hmm. they're trying to self-generate support, accountability, and inspiration. Mm -hmm. So the first thing people can do to make 2014 a completely different experience for themselves is get someone or a group of people that they can honestly and candidly and safely share mm -hmm. their professional victories Love with. It. Beautiful. I run two actors mastermind groups every month specifically for the purpose of having a place where we can, you know, get coaching but also share the victories. It's the first thing we do, victory reports. Who's got it? And sometimes it's the booking, but sometimes <coughs> it's the I I made that phone call or I pressed send on my newsletter and it scared the you know crap out of me. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I actually have led groups of actors every single month consistently for the past 12 years. Mm. I love it. I love it. It's like my little passion project. So that's one thing. That's a good thing. The second thing I would recommend that you do in 2014 is when you want to know something or you want to get ahead or you want, or you've hit a wall and you feel kind of stuck, have a conversation. Mm -hmm. And I call these coffee dates. Just because coffee implies, hey, it's casual, mm -hmm. it's at your convenience, it won't take long. You know, just have a coffee date with someone. And the whole purpose is just to see like, you know, um, Stacy, I really admire your work. I have three questions I'd love to ask you. If you have 17 minutes at some point, I'd love to buy you a cup of coffee at your convenience or a phone call, if that's mm -hmm. cool. Mm -hmm. You know, and it doesn't have to be coffee. It could be ice cream, could be lunch, could be walk around the block, whatever. Right. But it's just sitting down and making that personal connection. And the thing about the voiceover world, so isolating. Yeah. And, and even though you connect, you know, in forums and, and over right, the internet, right. It's important for this eyeball to eyeball communication. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But a phone call sometimes will suffice. But when you're stuck, have a conversation because it just gets the gears moving. You're not meant to figure everything out by yourself. Yeah. Yes. You know? yes. And it's the best form of networking, coffee dates. Oh, yeah. If you just decided to have one coffee date a month, that is 12 people that you would not have connected with in 2014. And all 12 don't have to be like, kismet. One person can rock your world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everybody, everybody watching can think back to a time when one person said, you should do this, or you should meet somebody, or let me connect you, and it just exploded. Right. But I think, too, what's important, and it speaks to your, your concept of specificity, mm -hmm. that it's not, hey, let me just sit down and look. You have a, a clear, these are things that I really want answers to. These are things that I'm sort of mulling over. And, and But be specific about what you want to ask. It's not just, tell me everything or tell me how you did that. I mean, that's just 
yeah. enormous is I think it, 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 it just is getting really targeted about what information you're trying to to glean from this person. Yeah, because I mean, everybody's biggest fear is you're just going to suck them dry yes. and they're going to have to kind of get out <laughs> of the conversation. Yeah. So like, if you are... um, call me at 3.15 because I'm in this coffee date and I don't want to. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and what's great about a weird number, like seven minutes, 17 minutes, mm -hmm. is that's a pattern interrupt and they're like, oh, okay. Yeah. And yeah. watch the clock. Then go at minute 16. You know what? I asked for 17 minutes. It's 16 in. Just, you might only get that far in the conversation. They'll be like, oh, they're watching the clock. They're going to let me go when they need to go. And then what they say is, no, 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 we're fine, we're fine, keep going. I was just going to say. Yes. Totally. Showing yeah. respect for People, yes. yeah. Lowers mm -hmm. the defenses. Absolutely. Yep. Mm -hmm. You're a yeah. smart cookie. <laughs> Can I call you cookie? You may. She's <laughs> a smart cookie. Okay. So the third thing mm -hmm. is I want everybody to think of how they want to feel in 2014. I want you to pick three adjectives. I want, like this year in 2013, I wanted to feel cared for. I was cared for, but I wanted to feel it. Mm. I wanted to feel lighthearted and I wanted to feel authentic. I judged my success of the year by how often and how much I felt those because that's the texture of life that I want. Mm -hmm. And so often what we're doing is we're judging our success by how many things we got done on our to-do list, yeah. which is ridiculous because yeah. you're creative people, you will always have this gorgeous long to-do list. Yeah. Right. So stop judging your success by what you're doing and start judging your success by are you feeling the way you want to feel. Yeah. That's yeah. fantastic. I love it. It will change your year. I love that. You're right. Yeah. Wow. I love it. So find your three adjectives. That's amazing. Yes, I love sir. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think now would be a really good time to talk about this giveaway that we're doing yes. because I think it's pretty darn exciting. It okay. is. So what are we giving away and how do they get it? Okay. Well, I thought I would give away a copy of my audiobook. Seems appropriate yeah. for the venue. Absolutely. <laughs> captive audience. Yes. So um, it's my audiobook called Feeding Your Focus How Creative People Can Move Forward Faster and Achieve Sustained Success. And it sells for $97. It's eight hours of my best guidance about the foundation, which is focus and strategy, home office efficiency financial organization and networking. Those are the legs of your table on which to build your career. And you don't want to build your career on shaky ground. No, yeah. ma'am. So this is a great way to start the year. Wow, too. absolutely. Yes. So to get this, to get, yes. by, to get this, I want you to email me, and it's my name, Christine, at christineoller.com. Right there on the bottom, you can right there see on the it. Bottom. And send me the golden nugget that you got that made watching this segment worthwhile. That was worth the price of admission. Just send me your golden nugget, let me know it resonated, and I'm going to put everybody in a drawing and I will videotape the random yeah. drawing so it'll be legit and you and I will uh You are you authentic, the Christine. <laughs> yes. So the it's, winner I would will want be picked. Yes, I know. I know. So it's going to be random and you get but the good news is is because you have two parts. Oh yes. You can enter yes. twice, you guys, so you can send two different golden nuggets and be entered twice to get Absolutely. It's an amazing. Wow. Amazing resource. That's really cool. I'm cool. glad we're doing that. We're Love kicking it. the year Thank off you good. for doing that. Yes. Thank you very oh, much. Absolutely. My pleasure. Okay, so Christine, you have had yourself some career transitions. Yep. So when you reflect on it, what do you think have been some of the keys or, or, of patterns of behavior or actions that you took that have helped you be successful? Well, one of the things is what I call betting on yourself. That's my big thing. I want mm -hmm. everyone to bet on themselves. And what that is, you can believe in yourself which you have to do. You have yeah. to have the belief in yourself. Absolutely. But the betting on yourself is taking the action that shows that belief. Mm. You know, you're not going to get anywhere without the action. And the action very often is an action made out of faith. Because you have to have faith in yourself. And what faith is, is belief without proof. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. When I saw that article about this one guy who was a professional organizer, I was like, well, if someone else is doing that, I know I, I, I do that. Like, I know I can do that as a, as a thing, as a business. I went home and I told my dad, dad, okay, I read about this thing and this is what I'm gonna do. And, blah, blah. and the first thing he said, he's very supportive, but he was like, <laughs> well, no one's gonna pay you for that. Oh, no. But I knew the voice inside me was going, yeah, I think yeah. I will. 
Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Had but you I told had no me, proof. I would have been like, let's go into business together. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> but I had no proof. Right. But I was willing to bet on myself and take the risk of taking action towards that mm. to see, you know? Because really, what's the worst thing that could have happened? Right. My ego would have been crushed, Stacy. <laughs> yeah. You would have been a shell of you a woman's butt. You would have crushed ego. <laughs> yeah. But I think, don't you think that it's uh, people, well, if I try that and if I don't succeed, I mean, but it's really, unless you're really like bungee jumping without the bungee cord, like what is the worst thing that could happen? Yeah. Right. And also, it's like, I didn't know how it was all going to come, but I mm. knew the first couple steps to take. So you just start taking the first couple steps. And if you're on the right path, the path starts to unroll and right, you just right. kind of go along and with you it. You get the Absolutely. confidence. Yeah. 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 So I think that that was always, I mean, I'm coming to LA and being an actress. That's like, <laughs> my, my parents were not in the industry. They were like, okay, whatever that is, you know. Right, right. Um, I think they were the only parents who lived in LA who weren't like connected at all with the industry. Darn it. <laughs> so I just came and just sort of, started yeah um but i believed the little whisper yeah. that's mm -hmm. it and i you know if you go around trying to collect the proof of other people going yes you can do that yes you can do that if you are really trying for that you have a hole that that is not going to fill oh the absolutely the only thing that will fill that hole is you going i know yeah. now it's great if you have maybe one other person who's like yeah that sounds good good idea i think yeah. i can do it then it's yeah. like yay that guy in the magazine article was my mm -hmm. person's like well he's doing it yeah you know absolutely right, so right. absolutely and, right. and and the thing is is like you know for example scott rummel he's been on our show he's a big trailer and promo guy um and he always talks about that when he was starting to do voiceover he was working at a radio station mm -hmm. and one of the big djs there told him after, because he would practice every day at, at the station, literally came up to him and said, listen, Scott, I see you going in there and, you know, doing your thing yeah. every day, and I just, I want to save you a lot of time and heartache. You just don't have the voice yeah. just don't, for don't voiceover. Bother. And, to, you know, and, and, and so it's like, how crazy <laughs> yeah. is that? And he's like, yeah. what? What are you talking about? Yeah. And he became, he is one of the biggest voiceover actors out there today. Mm -hmm. So you can't listen to people telling you how good or not good you are. Right. Everybody has an agenda, and that's not a bad word. That's not a pejorative word. It's just a word. Right. I have an agenda for being here. You have an agenda for doing this, and everybody watching has an, a reason why they're watching this. So we all have our agendas, and you have to consider the source. Mm. Yes. That guy may have been well-intentioned, yeah. but what was his knowledge of the full breadth of the industry? Like, what mm -hmm. you know, consider mm -hmm. the source mm -hmm. before you let it yeah. in. Yeah. Well, sometimes yeah. the source could be a brother, a mother, a father. Yeah, I mean, sometimes the source comes from a place of love and concern. Totally. But at the end of the day, I mean, it's your life, it's your path, and if it's what makes you breathe and open your eyes every day and you yeah. feel passionate about it, then you just, you gotta do it. You gotta yeah. go for it. So I think that the betting on myself has always been a hallmark of, you know, taking those That's kind great. of risks. And listening to my inner voices, even when it's like, what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, yeah. I didn't know organizing even existed. And that was a lesson in and of itself. It's like, I fell in love with this thing that I didn't even know existed. Like, yeah. A month before I turn that page in the magazine, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what else is out there that I don't? E so now it's like I have no idea what my future holds because I couldn't have predicted any of this. Yep. Right. So it's having that openness. And the other thing I think that I got very, very good at was energy management. And I've studied, you hear a lot of people say that, oh, I've studied successful people, but whatever. Yeah, but I've looked and watched successful people, and they're very good at energy management, which means mm -hmm. you. When my clients come to me, one of the first things I look at is how and where are they hemorrhaging energy, mm. just pouring it out because all right. of that energy right. is energy you don't have to put towards building and shifting mm -hmm. and doing your passion. So it's really about being able to see life go on or have someone tell you something and not engage with them for weeks. Right, right. You know, you can call one person and hash it out and be like, oh, you won't believe, but mm -hmm. you don't need to call eight. Yeah. And then eight more, yeah. you know, keep it alive. But that's all energy. So I'm very, very good about consciously deciding where my energy is going to go. Mm -hmm. Now, that doesn't mean that when someone says something, of course it hits you emotionally. Sure. We're all emotional beings. It's not emotional detachment. I think that's impossible. 
But just because you feel it emotionally doesn't mean you have to immediately respond with all right, your right. energetic engagement. Right. So I got really good at that, which allowed me to retain more and more and more energy to build the things that I've built. Yeah, yeah. there you go. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Why do you think it's so difficult for people to make significant changes? What's, what's so hard about it? I think that it, it goes back to what you were just saying about saying no. There's a lot of old knots or, and, and guilt mm -hmm. and think you get meshed into obligation and tradition mm -hmm. and responsibility and all of that stuff. And the hardest thing, if, if I do nothing else in this world, I'm on a crusade about teaching creative people especially how to give themselves permission. Self-permission is like this this little gem mm -hmm. that everybody has, but you've got to excavate it and dust it off and polish it up. Yep. Because the world's not going to give you the permission. Right. That's why it's called taking time. You have to right. take the time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that gives me goosebumps. I love that. It's so yeah. true. <laughs> so true. If you weren't wearing that sweater, we could see I your goosebumps. Know. No, but it's so true. Yeah. So you have to give yourself the permission to take the time energy and the money that you need to put towards this passion which maybe nobody is thinking you can do but you yeah you have to give yourself the permission to do that because it takes to make a significant shift takes time and energy and money and people are unable to give themselves the permission they're also unable to make their passion bright and shiny and structured enough to be compelling because if your dream and goal is kind of vague over here, you will always gravitate towards structure. Mm -hmm. And that could be the structure of the day job that you hate. But you realize I give 110% to this day job that I hate. And I spend extra time. Why am I doing that? Yeah. It's because you know how to do it. There's mm -hmm. a structure to it. You it's get paid. You get a little yeah. pat on the head every two weeks. Yeah. And when you look over here to what you want to do, it's <laughs> the cyclone. Vague. You're just like, <laughs> yeah. oh, I'd yeah. rather spend like a Saturday helping my friend move because I know how to do that. And I get free pizza and maybe a couple of bucks and their gratitude. That's structural. Check it off the mm -hmm. to do list than a Saturday working on my dream. I always tell people, I'm going to teach you about planning. Not so you fit into this. Your life gets more rigid. Planning is about increased flexibility. Yes. We're making a plan, but then we're going to change course and then we're going to change course, but you can't like change course unless you have a course <laughs> to yeah. change yeah. from. Otherwise you're just like, woo, and then woo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So it's about flexibility. It's the smart, capable people who get stuck yeah. because they feel like, oh, I committed to this thing, so I can't get out of it. Mm -hmm. But life is fluid. Life is fluid. You can get you can extricate yourself from any situation, which True. enables you to take a risk. Absolutely. Yes. If you have not gone already to christineoller.com, what are you waiting for? Hello. Do it But now. let's talk about, you have some other wonderful products, digital products, and also we want to talk about how can people work with you, the different ways that, that you work. Well, I have, I, I built this thing, and I called it the Actors Library. And it, it is a storehouse of hours of free guidance for me and interviews with my friends in the industry about mm -hmm. specific topics and we mm -hmm. really go kind of in depth into it. It's me having a coffee date with them that you yeah. get to listen to. Cool. And I built this because I knew that I, as I moved into change strategy, I would have less and less time um, to spend with up and coming actors. So I mm -hmm. wanted to just have this place that was absolutely free where people could access all of that. So I built the Actors Library. My favorite books are there, my, all the resources for the industry there. And also I wanted people to be able to access um, the different kind of categories of my brain mm -hmm. easily. Mm -hmm. And I'm the type of person where if I sort of teach something once or twice, I'm like, okay, once I've taught this yeah. like three times, it's like I should just record it so I yes. don't have to teach it again because yes, yes. it saves me time, saves people money. So one of the things that I, I'm good at is, and I've done this for a 
many actors has helped them start a little side business to fund their artistic pursuit. Mm. Uh, usually service-based because that was my background. Mm -hmm. But it's amazing how you can find something that gives you a lot more flexibility and a lot more income. So your little side business is a website that you can go to and it's a digital product but I also made a set of three videos that give you some of my best. It, it's all about how to give yourself a raise without raising your prices. That's all free. And I don't know anybody who's telling you that stuff, yeah. so I right. love those right. videos. And then there's a whole course. If you want to know how I did my organizing business and how I grew it and some savvy things I did to earn more from clients, yeah. mm -hmm. it's all there. And then another thing was networking. I just realized, oh man, I've learned a lot over the years. And I, I did this five-week networking boot camp and recorded the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And there was a networking experts panel and David Lawrence, who's... Yeah. Big mm -hmm. voice, but he gave this wonderful, like, I guess we call it a keynote speech, but it's mm -hmm. lovely. It was in my living room, you know? Right, right. And it was great. So that is everything in my brain of best practices for networking, which is unfortunately essential. Essential. <laughs> yeah, Absolutely. I yeah. Yeah. wish it wasn't. Yeah. But I make it as easier. And it's totally built for wallflowers like me, because that's what I was. I would buy a ticket somewhere, get dressed go hang out in the bathroom for the, I was like, oh, if I'd been here long enough. And then yeah. as I got better, I would hang out by the ta food table <laughs> and then rave. leave. Wow. Yeah. 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 That bad? Oh, yeah. I didn't create this. Um, I read it in a book, don't know, I wish I could credit the source, but um, I call it my golden nugget game. And this is my lifesaver. So when you go to a party, or even if you're having a coffee date with someone, when you go to a room full of people, you go, okay, Somebody in this room has a golden nugget of information for me, and I have it for somebody in the room. Probably not going to be the same person. I always right. wish it was because then I could yeah. leave. Yeah. But my thing was like, okay, I can't leave until I've given my golden nugget and received a golden nugget, and then I can book. Nice. So the first thing that did was make you outer focus. Because, yeah. you know, as actors, we're all like, I'm yeah. sweating, yeah. and I don't yeah. get you outer focus, as your acting teacher says. And it gets you talking to people and listening to people instead of the whole LA, oh, I'm talking about you, but maybe yeah. there's somebody else yeah. who's right. better. Yeah. You're really listening because you're like, okay, does this person have something or do I have something for them? And it can be something business oriented or personal, but you know it when you hear it, it's like, oh, oh, it's that thing you just want to write down, oh, that mm -hmm. website or that tip right, or whatever. Right, right, mm -hmm. right, right. And what is also great at these functions is when you're talking to someone, you're like, yeah, I don't think that guy has anything for me. It makes you break away and yep. we talk about how to do that in my networking right. bootcamp yep. right. it's so awkward but right. you gotta break away and go to the next person yeah. that's one of those other things if you just implement that into your life for 2014 it mm -hmm. will totally mm -hmm. uh, make your experience interacting with strangers a lot better so absolutely great. Yeah. yeah oh it's so great so, wow. so yeah so, so that, do you do if somebody wants to work with you how do you work with them? Do you do it over Skype, the phone? Because you don't work? have to be in Los Angeles to no, work with you. No, I wonderful. have a voiceover client, and I'm working with him for a whole year, and he's in Australia. Okay. We just started in November. And then I had a voiceover client in Texas, and he didn't want to appear on camera. So we've never met. I've never seen him. We've organized <laughs> his whole home office with his iPad. Just show, But I didn't, I didn't wow. see him. Wow. And we worked together for a year over the Skype, but only audio. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's... It, it, I'm very attuned to listening, mm -hmm. so it, it doesn't bother me at all if I can't see the person. I love to see the person because you can sure. read a yeah, lot of things yeah, faster. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I, having worked with, with um, Jean Tignashi for a year, I don't think any there was no um, deterioration of service mm -hmm. there. Right. I think right. it was, a, and right. he had a great year. So yeah. if people go to christineoller.com, mm -hmm. or uh, they, you can also get your newsletter, Yes. Which is wonderful. Yes, and you can thanks. get emailed golden nuggets, which are fabulous. I love them. Um, and, and also people can email you. Oh, sure. Christine at christineoller.com. So Absolutely. Love and it. let's not forget that we are giving away. Yes. Tell, us, t t tell them what we're giving away. Tell well, them what we're giving away. Well, if you didn't watch Christine. part one, 
this is all going to be new information for you, but this is my book, Feeding Your Focus, How Creative People Can Move Forward Faster and Achieve Sustained Success. And I'm giving away a copy. It's an audiobook. Oh, it's beautiful. It's I didn't really even, I didn't beautiful. even open no, the door. No, there's a it bunch is. of CDs beautiful. in there. It's so cute. Yep. We are giving yes. away a copy in part one. Yes. And another copy in part two. So how you get it is you get put into a drawing by emailing me the golden nugget that resonated with you from what you've heard today. From each part. So this golden nugget from part one, yeah. this golden nugget from so part two. You can enter twice. Right. You can enter twice. Mm -hmm. And I will videotape me doing the random drawing so it's totally legit. <laughs> Which will be sometime... End of January. End January, of January, January Early February. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. So, yeah. I'm so excited. eight hours of the foundation, focus and strategy, home office efficiency, financial organization, and networking. That's Everything fantastic. Like that. It's a good way Love to start it. the wow. year. Well, yeah. I got to tell you, man, I, th this was so great. Thank you so much for coming down and sharing with us, sharing with everybody. Yeah. Uh, I, I've learned a few things that I kind of thought <laughs> I knew, but I'm like, yeah, I knew that. And now, <laughs> now, now I'm really ready to rock and action plan, man. 2014. <laughs> Thank you so much, Christine. Oh, You're pleasure. a doll. Thank Thanks you for so coming. Christine. Thanks, Christine. It's so good to see you again. It was lovely. Excellent. Yeah. And until next time, we'll be back. I am Christine Aller, and I just got buzzed with Chuck and Stacy, and it was so fun. I mean, I knew it would be because I've watched the episodes myself, so, you know, they're a lively bunch. But um, the time went by really fast, and I hope you got some golden nuggets that really resonated with you. And if you did, please let me know. I'd love to hear from you, and I wish you the best in 2014. Well, I totally feel like I'm ready to go out there and kick some major butt in 2014. And I know you guys got some good stuff yes. too, right? Yeah. Yes. Now, don't forget, you can win this drawing that we're having. We're doing a giveaway of our whole CD set. Um, all you have to do is email Christine. There's her email right there. You have to do it before January 31st, because mm -hmm. that's when everything ends, okay? Absolutely. And uh, you'll be entered uh, in a drawing picked randomly, and you could win this awesome package, and you'll have an awesome year. Absolutely. And go to ChristineAller.com. Spend some time there, you guys. She has incredible articles and videos. It really is a gold mine. Gold is the gold, gold, is gold. the word of the day. Okay, keep up with us on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest at Leo Buzz Weekly. We'll see you next week. And just remember, you, you always, always have, have time, time for a little buzz. buzz.